Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about parts of a circle. A circle is a set of all points in a plane which are a given distance r from a given point on the plane. The fixed point A is called the center of the circle. So itong point A natin is the center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle. A circle is named after its center. So, ang name ng circle nito is Circle A. So, papangalanan natin yung circle uh, base dun sa, uh, sa ano natin, center natin. Okay? So, name the following in the given figure at the left. So, may figure tayo dito. So, in-name natin. Name the center. Name the circle. And the radii. So, the radii is the plural for radius. So, ibig sabihin yan, meron tayong dalawang radius sa circle natin. So, what is the name of the center? That is point A. Okay. So, the name of the center is point A. And letter B, what is the name of the circle? So, ang name ng circle natin is circle A or pwede kayong gumamit ng symbol na to. Okay. So, again, yung name ng circle natin is circle A. So, doon lang natin kinukuha sa center natin. And then, the two radius or the radii. So, meron tayong dalawang radius dito. And that is, so, the line segment AC and the line segment AB. Okay. So, radii kasi meron tayong dalawang radius. Another, we have... A radius of a circle may be any of the following. Okay, remember, first, a segment whose endpoints are at the center and a point on the circle. So, kaya, ang radius daw natin class, so, that is a, yung endpoint natin, no, from the center and a point on the circle. So, dapat uh, masasabi natin na radius siya kapag yung endpoint na isa ay nasa center at yung isa nasa Uh, yung point natin is on the circle. So, basta kahit saan man party ng circle na yan, basta yung isang end point niya ay nasa center. So, that is this radius. And then, kapag kukunin natin yung length, okay, length of the segment referred in number one. So, in other words, the distance from the center to any point of the circle. So, that is the radius. The distance from the circle, ah, uh, uh, from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. So, yan yung radius natin. A chord of a circle is a line segment that has its end points on the circle. So, again, a chord of a circle is a line segment that has its end points on the circle. So, kagaya nitong nakikita natin. No? Yung DE, yung line segment na DE, so, ito ay halimbawa ng chord. And then, the diameter of a circle is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. So, passes through the center of the circle. So, uh, chord siya na kapag dumaan sa center ng circle, so ang tawag na natin sa kanya ay diameter. Okay? So, once na dumaan sa center, sa center ng circle, so ang tawag na natin is diameter. And then, its length is twice as long as a radius. Or, so kapag kukunin natin itong diameter nito, so twice nitong measure nung AC. Okay? So, name the following the given circle A. First, name the chord. Name the diameter. Name the radii that make up the diameter. And, If the diameter is 12 cm, how long its radius? So, name the chord. So, ano yung chord natin dito? So, that is DE or the line segment DE or AD. And then, the diameter. So, may diameter natin. Yung, duma, yung chord na dumaan sa center ng circle. That is the line segment CB or BC. Okay? And then, ah... Uh, The two radii are the two radius that make up the diameter. So, that is AC and AB. Alright? And paano daw kapag ang diameter na, uh, 
ilan daw yung sukat ng radius natin kapag ang diameter natin is 12 cm. So, ang sabi kanina, diameter is twice the length of the radius. So, kung ang diameter natin is 12 cm, so twice nung length ng radius yung diameter. So, therefore, kalahati. So, kalahati ng diameter is the length of the radius. And that is 6 cm. So, ibig sabihin itong length ng AC natin is 6, tapos itong AB natin is 6. So, kapag in natin, that is 12 cm. Another, may tinatawag tayong tangent. So, that is a line segment or array that intersects a circle at exactly one point is called a tangent. So, itong nakikita nyo, no, itong line na to, nag-intersect siya at exactly one point no, ng circle. So, ito ay tinatawag nating tangent. No? Itong line segment na to or array ay tinatawag nating tangent. And then, ang tawag sa intersection, kung saan no, nag-intersect yung tangent natin, doon sa circle, tinatawag nating point of tangency. Okay? Tinatawag nating point of tangency to. And also, meron tayong tinatawag na, so, yung line, a segment or array that intersect a circle at exactly two points. So, kanina, exactly one point. Ang tawag natin tangent. Dito, kapag... Um, meron tayong line or a segment or array na nag-intersect at exactly two points sa circle, tinatawag naman natin yung line na yan na secant. Okay? Secant ang tawag natin. So, tatandaan natin kapag nag-intersect ang line natin na exactly one point tangent ang tawag. Kapag like, exactly two points, so it's either line yan or a segment or array, Basta nag-intersect siya at exactly two points of the circle, tinatawag nating secant. Okay. So, every chord being a line segment determines a secant and every secant being a line contains a chord. Tandaan natin yan. So, sa figure na to, so ito yung, ano natin, yung line natin na nag-intersect at exactly two points of the circle. So, Name the following the given circle. Name the tangent, the point of tangency, the chord, and the secant. Okay, for the name of the tangent, that is line L. Okay, so ang name natin dito is line L. And then the point of tangency, that is point F. Or pwede rin na instead na isulat nyo yung word na point, meron symbol na parang tuldok. No? So pwede yung gamitin nyo, that is point F. And then, name the chord. So, ano yung chord natin dito? So, ito. BC. Okay? The line segment BC. That is the chord. And the secant is line BC. Okay? It's either line BC or line M. So, pwede rin ipangalanan natin na line BC or line M. Take note class. Yung gagamitin yung symbol dito kasi chord siya. So, chord. So, yung line segment. No, ito. Pero kapag secant, Secant ang ginamit na ang kinukuha natin. Ang symbol na gagamitin is nyo ay ito, yung may dalawang arrowhead sa dulo. Okay, magkaiba kasi yan. Or, pwede rin na kung meron tayong uh, isang pangalan pa na isa, pwede nyo rin pangalanan that is line M. And kung wala kang M, so ito lang. That is the line BC. Okay, example. B and C are points on the circle A. If AB is equal to 2x minus 3 and AC is equal to x plus 1, find the lengths of the radius and diameter. So, alam natin na ang AB ay equal sa AC. Diba? Kasi radius sila. So, kung ang sukat nito ay 5, so ang sukat din ng AB ay 5. Tama? So, ma we can solve this that Uh, AB is equal to AC. So, ang gagawin lang natin, substitute lang natin, yung value ni AB dun sa given natin. And that is 2x minus 3 equals yung value ng AC sa given natin, that's x plus 1. So, lipat lang natin si x sa left side, pagsamahin natin, at si negative 3 naman sa right side. So, 2x minus x, that is x. 1 plus 3, that is 4. So, kung kukunin natin yung length of a radius or yung length ng isang radius natin, 
isa-substitute lang natin yung value ng x doon sa given na binigay. So, we can say that AB is equal to AC and AC is equal to x plus 1. So, substitute natin yung value ng x that is 4. 4 plus 1, 5 units. So, ibig sabihin class, yung sukat mula kay A to C that is 5 units. Ngayon, ilan yung diameter nila? Kung 5 units yung AC, so therefore, yung AB natin ay 5 units din. So, ang diameter natin that is 10 units. So, tatandaan natin na ang diameter natin laging twice the length of the radius. Another, we have point A is the center of two concentric circle. So, pag sinabi natin concentric circle, so a circle with common center. No? Yan yung tina ibig sabihin, two or more circle which have the same center points or may common uh, center sila. Okay, like for example, so if C is the med, uh, midpoint of AB, so ito yung AB natin, midpoint of AB, and then yung sukat ng EA is 10 cm, so kunin natin yung mga length nito. First is yung length ng AB, so yung length ng AB. So paano natin makukuha? So base dito sa figure, so yung EA daw natin ay 10 cm since uh, yan ay so yung point A natin dito is the center of the big circle nito so kung ang uh, from mula dito so yan ay radius ng big circle so kung 10 yan therefore mula dito kay A hanggang kay B so radius din yan ng big circle equal sila kung 10 ito so therefore that is 10 cm din so AB is equal to 10 cm. Next, find BD. So, itong kinukuha naman natin, BD. So, kung ang AB is 10 cm, so, that is the diameter. No, no, this is AB. This is 10 cm. So, since C is the midpoint, no, C is the midpoint of AB, so, ibig sabihin, from A to C, that is 5 cm. And then, itong CB naman na to ay 5 cm din. Then, sa circle na to, sa circle na to, ang BC natin is a radius of this circle, itong circle B natin. So, therefore, kung 5 cm to, itong radius na to ay equal sa radius na to. So, BD is equal to BC and that is also 5 cm. Okay? Another is the length of ED. Okay, the length of ED, so saan yan? So, simula dito, sa point na to hanggang dito. Hanggang sa dulo. So, kung kanina, binigay na yung, sa base sa given natin, no, na binigay. So, from point E to A, that is 10 cm. And point A to B is 10 cm. Ilan na yun? 20 plus 5. So, therefore, yung length ng ED is 25 cm. So, alam natin na yung EB, EB is twice, no? Nung value ng EA. Kaya, 2 times 10, that is 20 plus 5, 25 cm. So, dito pa lang, class, sa figure natin, makuku uh, makukuha nyo na agad yung measure dahil nilabel na natin kung ilan yung sukat. Okay? And last, to find the length of AD. So, ito. Simula dito hanggang dito. So, kung mula A hanggang B, 10 cm na. Plus, yung length ng BD, and that is 5 cm. So, therefore, the length of AD is 15 cm. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.